Hi and welcome to C tutorial of a calculator. Now let's start by clicking on create new project and I'm going to select console application click on go and click on next select C programming language and click on next give the programming I'm just going to enter C underscore calculator there we go click on next and finish and there we go that is the source code area for my C underscore calculator I'm going to start by first of all let's get rid of this and I'm going to declare the following variable so I said double and I'm going to call that first number comma second number and there enter semicolon the next variable that I'm going to declare will be a char that very char I'm just going to call it OP which stands for operator now the next thing is let's ask the system to print out the following information for the end user I'm going to enter backspace tap 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 I mean so that should get it a little bit centered and I'm going to say console calculator tutorial there we go guys in C there and I will also enter next line in there let's enter a quote here as well and semicolon here there we go alright now we need as follows we need the user to enter your first number so in there I'm just gonna enter as follows enter your first number okay let's get rid of all of this I don't need that enter first number there a semicolon or column and I will then ask scanner F to take care of the data that has just been entered. So I'm going to say LF. So that should give me a double, double variable. So let's come in here and just say space ampersand first number. there we go alright the next thing I'm going to take care of now is going to be for the operator so I'm going to just enter in here copy this so this one is going to be for the operator so I'm just going to change that to C and make sure you have a space in here else it's not going to work okay quote space percent C so that's for char and in here that is my operator which is just OP and in here I'm just going to enter select an operator there we go alright that's taken care of now this one will be second number enter second number and we just change this one to second number second number all right all done okay so if I run it now let's compile and run it if you just access for data and that will be all so let's give that a shot so click on compile and run there I'm just gonna enter whatever value in there select whatever operator I intend to use and there we go so that is fine you can see the console calculator as it as the title right up here okay so now underneath here let's start to work with the f function that will put together the calculator itself so in here I'm just gonna start by saying if 
the operator equals equals the plus sign enter coil braces there then I'm gonna ask the system to print F and I like it to just display the data that I entered so I'm gonna say go to the next line percent F plus percent F again equals percent F and next line as well okay this should be there should be a quote here there semicolon here and the data that I want is going to be first number so in here enter a comma first number second number and so on let's move this then second second number comma second number then first number plus second number so just enter the plus sign here all right okay guys I guess you guys can see it let's reduce this a little bit so that you can see it all right that takes care of the very first one so I can copy this and just use else if copy come right down here let's say else if if it's subtraction then all of this will be subtraction and this is subtraction as well good now copy all of this let's go for multiplication and here is a multiplication as well multiplication here there now let's go for division if it's division all of this will be division and division here as well there we go all right so our calculator is already taken care of so have a good look at it the lines of code I mean I'm gonna bring it down and down okay let's run it before we continue now let's enter the very first value and let's say we want to multiply that by by two there we go you see that that is the whole idea or that's the reason i have my f percent f multiplied by percent f equals this so that you will see the value that you entered there we go and you then multiply okay we multiply this by this we end up with that that is correct however let's try division see the division works let's say 80 divided by maybe 5 there that is correct supposing we want to divide by 0 that would definitely give us an error so let's see let's say 45 divided by zero okay you see that is invalid now the only way out is or the way out this is what I'm going to do you see right here where we have the division I'm going to use an if statement there if second number equals equals zero equals equals zero then I want the system to do as follows so in here I'm going to create that and just display a message you cannot divide by zero something like that okay so let's just output a message here 
informing the users you cannot divide by cannot divide by zero else this should happen so I'm gonna move this there okay I guess you guys get the whole idea then. however in case the user enter whatever data in there so we can just say invalid data so we can grab one of these or grab all of these and just modify it paste this here and in here we can just inform the user you've entered an invalid data in valid data that we do all right that is it so have a good look at or take a good look at my calculator tutorial the lines of codes and i'm going to bring it down and down and down there guys so let's run it now compile first before we can run it there so we enter whatever in there the plus sign there we go that's fine now let's try out our division by zero divide by zero look at that cannot divide by zero that is correct and let's supposing the end user should enter whatever rubbish character in there see the system refuses that okay so supposing we want to multiply by 12 there we go and that is how you create your own calculator in C program so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of this channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now